Hey there, this is Coin Metallurgist. Um, you know, the other day I had someone ask me about uh, my idea about weighing uh, the quarter rolls to figure out uh, if there is a silver quarter or not. And they asked me, um, couldn't there be um, some variation in the weight of the coins um, from when they're minted? And I responded to them uh, that the, the variance in the weight of the coins when they're minted is very minimal. It's going to be a lot less than uh, if a coin is worn down or if the coin uh, has something stuck to it or something to that effect. And I just kind of want to prove that point. Um, uh, recently I went through a box of dimes that was almost entirely 2015 uh, Denver Mint dimes. And so I have a pile of them here. Uh, and then I also have a roll of uncirculated 2015 uh, Bombay Hook Denver Mint uh, quarters. Um, and so these coins um, have maybe a few uh, bag marks, but they're almost entirely um, considered uncirculated. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to, you know, take care of them well. I'm going to put them back into circulation, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, so a dime weighs 2.27 grams. Um, the scale, uh, the uncertainty of it is 0.1 gram. So we're, I expect to see 2.2 to 2.4 grams. Um, and in reality, all of them will, will should come out 2.3. Um, and th with the sensitivity of the scale, the, the uncertainty in the scale is going to be a lot more uh, than the variance in these coins weight. So some of them might come up 2.2 and 2.4. I'll push those to a different side. I'll weigh them again. They'll be 2.3. Um, so let me show you this. Let me grab these all in my hand. So that one says 2.2, but I guarantee you that uh, it will say 2.3 here in a second. It's not actually that that coin's lighter, it's just the scale doesn't have the sensitivity to get it perfectly right every time. I think this is enough to prove my point. Let me pick these ones back up here. So I'm gonna put them back on. And even though they said 2.2 the first time, they say 2.3 now. That's just because of the sensitivity of the scale. So, um, you know, if, if, if one of these was uh, silver, we would see a difference in the weight, in the weight. But just from the difference in mintage, we don't see that difference. And with the quarters, and I will take better care of these ones a little bit uh, because I am keeping these quarters. It's 5.7, 5.8, Five point seven, five point six, five point seven, five point seven, five point eight, five point seven. So, um, I hope that's uh, sufficient to show the point. Um, you know, the uncertainty of the scale, again, is uh, shown here at the top. Plus or minus 0 0.1 grams. So, uh, if something weighs uh, 5.7 grams, like the quarter, which it's not exactly 5.7 grams, um, 
if the scale shows 5.6, 5.7, 5.8, it's it's within the uncertainty of the scale. And so the scale is saying that those are essentially the same. The scale can't tell the difference between 5.6 and 5.7. But if I put a silver quarter on here, it's going to say 6.2 or 6.3 because the, the silver quarter is 6.25. So, so again, in theory, uh, weighing the rolls uh, would work. Um, this is still a theory. Hypothetically, I'm not uh, convinced about it because of because of the wear, especially on older silver coins. They're worn down quite a bit, and so they might not weigh what they originally weighed when they came from the mint. Um, but I hope this video uh, was informative, answers that question uh, adequately for you. Um, let me know what you think, if you have any questions, or if you have... Uh, any other uh, type of thing like this you'd like me to answer for you in a video, I'd be more than happy to. Thanks.